All right, so one of the tests we do is actually the voltage drop test on each of our battery cables under load. And so what I'm gonna do is use this starter button to allow the engine to crank. And what I've done with my meter is I've taken my multimeter, put it into volts DC. I put one lead on the positive terminal of the battery and I put the other lead on the other end of this positive cable up at the starter. And so what we can see is that the meter right now is reading 0, 0.000. So that means there is no potential difference. There is no voltage difference from this terminal here to this terminal here. That is perfect. But that's sort of artificial right now because there is no current flow moving through this cable. If we could get it to stay that low, that would be great but the allowable spec in your book explains to us that between the positive and the negative cable, if we add both those voltage drops together, so in other words, the potential that gets consumed across those cables is 0.5 of a volt on a 12 volt system and one volt on a 24 volt system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the start button and again, I'm gonna hit this min max button to help me record it and it's gonna record the maximum voltage difference from this point to this point. Remember, a voltmeter reads potential difference. So all we're gonna see is how much potential was consumed needing to move the current through this cable. All right, so I'm gonna hit min max. I'm gonna hit the button and it's gonna crank and we're gonna see if there's any voltage drop on this cable under cranking. All right, so we can see the maximum voltage drop on this cable under cranking was 0.245. Now that's quite something because this is a very short cable of a very large gauge. But that says, so we're gonna do this same check now. I'll move my lead and I'm gonna take it off of the positive side and I'm gonna put it on to the negative lead of our starter. And we're gonna perform the same test. All right, so we just finished checking the positive lead, and now what we're gonna do is check the negative lead. So I moved the voltmeter leads to one end of the battery, the negative cable, the black cable that's going to the motor terminal here, the, to the ground terminal of the starter. And so we're gonna come down onto the negative terminal of our batteries on the backside, so just behind the meter there. And again, we're gonna read the potential or the change in voltage across the cable. And so I'm just gonna turn the meter on to DC volts, Again, I'm gonna hit the min max function, and then I'm gonna hit the button to crank the starter, and that's gonna crank the engine, loading the starter, and seeing what parasitic or voltage drop we're seeing on the negative cable. So now we can hit the min max button, and we see that the voltage drop on the negative cable, the maximum was 0.195. So we add that to the 0.245, we add on the positive cable, and we ended up somewhere in that uh, 0 0.440 volts. So our allowable loss on our positive and negative cable on a 12 volt system is half, so 0 0.500. So a 0 0.440 voltage drop on our positive and negative is allowable and within spec.